Hyperion Club started on a January evening in 1900. There were a number of young businessmen in Des Moines who wanted to have a social and gathering dining club, if you will. The membership grew exponentially. The next year, Waveland Park, Waveland Golf Course, opened for play. Hyperion then became Hyperion Field Club, and they played at Waveland. In 1903, as the membership grew and grew and grew, they purchased some land and built a small clubhouse adjacent to Waveland. It wasn't long before Hyperion outgrew its clubhouse. It was about 1907 when they did some exploration and bought the acreage about nine miles north, northwest of downtown Des Moines. And that's where our location is today, in Johnston, Iowa. At that time, it was called Johnston Station, an unincorporated area. They built a brand new clubhouse and it opened on Memorial Weekend of 1910. The architect that built the course was Thomas Bindelow, who had also done Waveland Park in 1901. Uh, the land we have now is bordered by the Iowa National Guard, located what they call Camp Dodge. Another name that has to do with the history is Herman L. Sani. Uh, most people remember Herman Sani as the Sani tournament that's played at Hyperion. It began in 1950 and it was named in his honor. Sani was a member at Hyperion for well over 50 years. He was the secretary of the Iowa Golf Association and kept that position for well over 30 years. Legend also had it during the Depression and back taxes that Sonny had paid back taxes of Hyperion at the Polk County Courthouse. And again, legend has it that he was never repaid. The three-story plus underground storage veranda balcony clubhouse had been torn down and was replaced with our present structure in 1972. In upkeeping the golf course, there have been certain projects that have truly changed the game to the better. One of those would have been the middle 80s when we did a complete irrigation system, a three-way track under the fairways and deep into the rough. That was approximately 1983, 84, 85 under completion. And then in 2015, using the new benefits of agronomy, we converted all of our greens to the newest, latest. There are wonderful putting services that everybody should be proud of and are. In 1994 was when we had acquired and established and introduced our new practice facility to our membership. To get access across Northwest Beaver Drive, we had to get permits and then build a tunnel underneath the highway to access our practice facility. And I believe the year was 1998 when we got hit with what was finally called a mesocyclone. It hit this course and within 20 minutes after that storm had passed, I remember standing on number one and number 10 tees just below the clubhouse, and I actually had to count one, two, three, 10, 11, 12, because the holes were unrecognizable with trees scattered, splintered all over the place. The membership jumped in and helped clean out the rubble. We had to bring in other additional crews other than our own green superintendent staff to do so. But within a month, the course was playable again. A few years after that, we did the pool reconstruction and that was close to $2 million. 
Some people think a golf club should only be about golf. Hyperion happens to be family oriented. There are those that prefer the pool, whether it be for laps, whether it be for health, or just sunbathing. That's the same also reason why we have a fitness facility. Uh, we have wonderful tennis and pickleball courts. We've always called Hyperion as the family club because it's not just a place where they go to play, it's a place where their families belong.